Hello, my name is Rotham, and welcome to StarCraft II. Q and I have decided that we want to play through the entire StarCraft game, StarCraft II game, uh, together. For you guys. Because yes. we're StarCraft nerds. Yeah. And I suck at it. And so I need Q in order to help me win. I got my I got my backpack ready, Ralph. I'll carry you to the end of it. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I think I need to turn you up. Actually, hold on. I turned you down. Now I need to turn you back up again. Oh, uh, okay. I think I'm ready. Testing. Wow. Testing one, oh my God. <laughs> you loud? Okay. No, I I think it's my my headphones are up. Yeah, my headphones are up all the way. So <laughs> Turn down my headphones a little bit. <laughs> okay. Testing. Okay, that's good. That's good. I won't have a heart attack this time, I swear. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right. And for, for those of you watching uh, that play StarCraft 2, you'll notice, notice that this looks like the custom arcade map layout. Um, there is a... a fan of StarCraft, another player who has created the entire campaign for Wings of Liberty, Heart of the Swarm, and Legend of the or uh, Legacy of the Void, created it to be three-player co-op. So that's what we're playing right now. It has all the objectives and story of the original campaign with a few additional surprises uh, to make up for the fact that there are three people playing, or in our case, two, not one. Yeah, uh, what he said. <laughs> I've never done this before. I have played StarCraft II, Wings of Liberty. That, that That's the first of the three. For those of you that are watching that don't play StarCraft II, StarCraft II was broken up into three separate games. Always oh, laughter. this is over. Ah, I don't know myself at all. <laughs> I mean, I've got boobs. I've got a package. I mean, what, what am I here? Um, I don't smoke cigars, though. I do. Cigars are wonderful. I quit smoking about four or five years ago, so... I tried smoking a cigar a couple times, and I just I didn't never didn't like it. Didn't like it nearly as much as smoking a cigarette. Convict six six, didn't say convict. That said inmate. He says free, but is he really free? But as you soon learn. Sure doesn't look like it. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like they're... Even freedom has a price. Ooh. His stomach is pretty messed up. I think it's a tattoo. It looked like scars. Oh, no, it is scars. I think he does have a tattoo on his chest, but it looks like he got eviscerated at some point in time. Well, he's got a tattoo on his knuckles. I mean, Tychus is a badass, so. All right. Well, ass is about right, but. <laughs> as far as the, the Terran guys, I've always been more partial to Rainer. Well, of course. I mean, Rainer's the the primary hero. Of course, you would be partial. Well, it wasn't even that. It was that I I could kind of identify with him, especially with the decisions that he makes that he's forced to make, and especially in the first StarCraft. Yeah, yeah. 
and how they force him to abandon people that he cares about. Yep. And it it makes it, it basically makes him leave the military. Well, it makes him leave the Sons of Korhal. Yeah. When, yeah, when, I, the, the lore of StarCraft, I am I am very, very versed on. <laughs> yeah. It's about time. But the, in in the first StarCraft, don't you start off with playing as him trying to find the sons of them because you're trying to leave the Federation to join them? No. So the way what happens is you play as a, as a colony magistrate and Raynor is actually one of your basically one of your sheriffs okay one of your uh, uh, one of your like colonial sheriffs okay and what happens is the confederacy abandons your planet once they find out the zerger on it and the only people willing to help you are manx and his sons of korhal and you... so you you join that terrorist organization yeah i was going to say who you of... find out later that they're actually they're just as bad, if not worse, than the... Oh, they're way worse than the Confederacy, yeah. because they're the ones that are... They they actively use the Zerg against other Terran colonies to gain power. Yeah. Well, doesn't it start off with them not doing that? It's actually... The, the Federation is experimenting on the Zerg, and then they get the idea, like, halfway through the game, they get the idea to start using the Zerg. Yeah, so the con the Confederacy basically finds a way to draw the Zerg to certain locations, and they accidentally do it. But then the Sons of Korhal find that technology and then actively do it. Ah, uh, okay. And then, then you have Kerrigan. Yep. Who gets betrayed by Minx. She gets betrayed by everybody. She has the worst luck. Well, I mean... So, do you know why Sarah Kerrigan gets betrayed by Mix? It ain't over till it's over, you son of a I don't remember why. I know, I know it was explained, but I don't remember why. S Sarah Kerrigan killed Arturus' Mink's father. Ah. Are my troops ready yet? Your forces are okay. and awaiting your orders, mm. Commander. Uploading tactical data now. But, Adjutant, what do you got for me? The living forces of but Manx was kind of a moron to begin with. Well, no, he's he was kind of a tactical genius. He he was, but in in sacrificing Kerrigan, he made a massive tactical mistake. Be uh, because yeah. Rainer had Rainer and you as the player had built up such a massive following. That when he does that, and it causes us to realize how bad of a person that he actually is. Like, we knew he was a pretty bad person. But when he does that, it makes us realize how bad he actually is. And when we leave, we end up taking a large chunk of the army with us. Which ones are mine? Which ones are yours? You are green. Are green. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do we... There we go. Okay. Okay, so your your special marine you have to keep alive. Okay. The other two, the other two, if they die, it's no brainer. But if uh, if your uh, bigger marine dies, then that's that's game. Okay. Well, uh, they didn't last long enough for them to even finish their speech. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but then when Kerrigan becomes a part of the Zerg, she gets and you're playing as her in the Zerg campaign, she gets betrayed again. No. So, the Overmind, and this is explained later on in the game, like in Heart of the Swarm and Leg uh, Legacy of the Void. Okay, it's the, 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 par the parts of StarCraft II that I haven't played yet. Yeah. And so basically what happens is... 
the Overmind created Kerrigan to eventually replace him. Slow down. Oh. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now we go. Okay. I have more soldiers because I lost one, so that that's good. Grab. Are, uh, are here. You... There's a Healy guy over here. Yeah, medic. Don't don't let him escape. <laughs> so, um, you find out a little bit later that Kerrigan is actually the Overmind's attempt to unshackle itself. Ah, okay. I could have so, sworn she got betrayed again. Like, she... she by the end of the first StarCraft, she was teaming up with people again, and they betrayed her again. No, she betrayed them. Oh, okay. So what happens is she... At the end of Brood War... So, so at the end of the original, of course, is the Overmind has been killed, and... The Protoss have abandoned Iyer, so, you know, when Brood War starts, uh, Kerrigan is pretending that, hey, with the Overmind being dead, I'm back to how I used to be as a parent. Like, I am i don't want to be in control of the Zerg, but now the UED is here and they're trying to take over the Zerg, and could you imagine if they had control of the Zerg, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Long story short, it was a ruse. And she was using everyone to gain, like, destroy the UED so she had sole control of the Zerg. Okay. If that makes sense. So, once that happens, she betrays everyone, and she kills General Duke and Phoenix. Uh... And it's only because Jim Rayner convinced everyone to help her that she was able to betray everybody. Ah. Uh. That's right, she, and, and it, she betrays Rainer as well, who was always on her side. Always on yes. her side. Yep. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Yep. Remember, Menk's And then, of course, everyone teams up to try and kill Kerrigan on Char. The UED is there, Mengsk is there, the Protoss are there, and uh, she fights them all off, leaving all other races weak, except for her. Okay, so this this screen here in the bottom right of your control card, uh -huh. once we start doing missions, you'll get little icons here where you can spend your money and your Zerg and Protoss research points to get new things. Oh, okay. So, but because we don't have any on the first mission, you just go to mission complete on the bottom right, and it saves your progress. You get away from my whiskey. <laughs> uh, Rainer's become quite the drunk. Yes, yes. I mean, granted, if the guy you worked for took over the entire known space, you know, and uh, your girlfriend was abandoned and turned into a murderous woman that killed millions of billions of people, like I, I think I'd probably I, turn that, into that's, drunk too. That sounds like your average Tuesday. Maybe for you. Oh, just me. You ain't that hard to find. I had to see it for myself. Little Jimmy Rayner, the people's <laughs> hero. Tigus Finley. Change his mind. Instead of pulling the gun, take a take a drink. For real. Be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. Or to give you time off for good behavior. <laughs> That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. Yeesh. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? 
guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Mansk. That doesn't sound like anything new. But <laughs> gonna pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tigus? Partners in. 60 40. 70 30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. Well, Rain Rainer hasn't gotten any smarter. This old outpost don't look like anything special. I mean, tight to be homies back in the day. Yeah, but he's been in prison forever. Do you know why he's been in prison forever? Because he murdered a bunch of people. Uh, actually, Rainer was the one that murdered all the people, and Tychus took the fall for him. Oh. And which, which supposed massacre... It, it did they get blamed for? So I don't know which one specifically. Um, I'm sure I read it at some point, but I can't remember where I read it. I know it was one of the books. Okay. But uh, ba long story short is Rainer used to run a like kind of a like a biker gang. Yeah, I knew that. And I don't, I don't remember what their names were called, but Tychus was part of that group. And Tychus took the fall to keep Rainer out of jail. Huh, and then that. after that, Rainer went, you know, straight and became the sheriff of Marsara. And Tychus went to jail. This better be good. Eh, sounds about right. One guy takes the fall while the other guy gets to, you know, improve his life. Basically. Armed and ready. Sounds about normal. Yeah. SCV ready. <clears throat> so, there's an enemy base up here. Gangway. Yeah. Hello. We're already on the move. I'm glad I built more dudes. Well, I got dudes up to help you, too. Bloop. Hey! Don't don't kill my pets. You leave my pets alone. It was in the way. Needed to die. Uh huh. Sure. It was in the way. <laughs> One. Additional supply depots required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supply depots required. Not enough minerals. No, oh, come on. The usual thing. Not enough minerals. Supply depots required. Not enough minerals. Supply depots required. <laughs> One day you'll get the timing right. Don't worry. <laughs> I've been playing this game for, or games like it, forever. Like, going all the way back to the original Warcraft. And it's always been the same thing. We need more wood. <laughs> You're not enough money. I mean, let's be honest, in Warcraft, like, you never seem to be able to, like, gather lumber fast enough. Ever. Oh, yeah. That's why in Warcraft and Warcraft 2, I always ended up... In the end, I ended up cheating. Oh, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yeah, yeah, don't... don't you can't tell me that you never cheated in that game. Uh, only after I beat the campaign without cheats. Oh, I did that. I, I beat the campaign without cheats, too. It was just more fun to cheat in the end. <laughs> How do I mean, I, I, I guess so. <laughs> it's like, why can't I build the, the medic thing? Because I haven't attached the tech lab yet. I mean... In the original Warcraft, go, go, go. there were several times when cheating was what made the game playable. I mean, there there were a few missions in Warcraft. I mean, even in Warcraft 
three. You know, yeah, there were some missions that were just ridiculously I mean, hard. Granted, I was also, you know, like 13. Yeah. And, you know, playing games competitively wasn't an option. So, like, my parents never let me play that aggressively. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get that. But. All right. I think I'm. Oh, okay. You're going to go. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I'm about oh, there's ready. A, there's yeah. a lot of Marines. Yeah, there are. I was just, I was going to say, I'm about ready to head up there, but you decided to, to take it upon yourself. I, uh, with, with the assistance of your men, I was able to handle this little spot here. Yeah. The doctor is in. I was, I was just making some medics of my own to fill my dudes in. Here, and I'm going to leave that reactor alive, so that way you can build one if you want to. Oh, nice. Okay. The doctor is in. Oh, I think I lost a, a couple guys. Looks like you're having some issues with the, that last guy there. What's going on? Let's go ahead and build this. Right, sure. And the grab those mineral in. pallets, too. Y yes. That, that tis the plan, but I'm going to move my guys forward a little bit to try to protect the take. Take that as well. Okay, so we can't go that way apparently. Crossing that bridge is not an option. Q is full. Grab the minerals while you're at it. What does the reactor do? Allows you to build two things at a time. Ah, okay. need our help tigers there's no way we're leaving them to rot i'll let you grab them too the, the what the, the rebels the... Oh, okay i'm a coming you have a much larger army than i have i mean i did also start with two bases Hello. yeah What's with the car? Is that just a car? Yeah, that's just a car. Okay. Let me grab my entire army here. I think we're almost... Yeah. Grab my entire army and go. Yes, yes, we we move and kill. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Which we go boys and my skills. We are gonna go a long way together. Uh I I I think we're uh, doing okay, I think. Oh, some of our guys are definitely dying. That's okay. Oh, there's a see, there's a tank and siege mode. Oh, the crap. I'm going in. I'm going to get it. I will sacrifice my men to destroy the tank and siege mode. Okay, got it. All right, got rid of the tank and siege mode. I don't have a lot of guys left. <laughs> That's right. My my barracks are pumping them out. Yeah, but we're just about done here anyway, so. Yep. Oh, tank. Ouchies. That wasn't fun. Outstanding. With their barracks and factory trashed, 
Yeah. Mop up any stragglers and we're home free. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. Yo. Know, that stone very much reminds me of a rather large version of the stones from the fifth element. <clears throat> yeah. It's only able to upgrade anything, right? Still not. Nope. We get that at the end of next mission. Ah, okay. Sweat. Okay. Close. I've always been really bad about building units and stuff. While while fighting? Yeah. <laughs> I have I have found that the best way to do it is hotkey your your buildings. Oh, yeah. And just every now and then in the middle of combat just switch over and make sure anything is queued up. Really. Okay. Cause uh I learned this from watching another YouTube streamer who I'm a huge fan of. Um his he actually broke it down in a diagram and basically what he does is he takes a piece of paper and he draws a little circle and then next to it he draws a bigger circle and he says the one with the bigger circle you know more things wins against less things <laughs> yeah i mean that does make sense yep That's one of the reasons why I like the, the Terrans so much, is they're fairly strong against the Zerg. Um, because, because, like, the Zerg can pump out Zerglings like crazy, but a um, Terran Marine can take on two to three Zerglings at a time. Oh, oh no. Nope. Don't sound too hard. That changed? One... One Marine can kill two Zerglings, maybe. Depending on upgrade and the ranges of Zerglings and all that stuff. Yeah, I was beating the basic Zerglings. The, the a basic Zergling versus a basic Marine. A Marine can kill one, maybe two. Yeah. So they're... We gotta hold out a, a, equivalently, they're a little better than the Zerglings. Yes. Yes. We can, we just not stand a chance. So that's one of the reasons why I always liked the Terran was because of that. But then when you start going up against the Protoss, I feel like the Zerg are the better because they're cheaper and you put out, you can pump them out like nobody's business. Yeah. Well, and it also definitely depends on, on like where your position and how, like what your army composition is and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Not enough minerals. Do I have? There's some marines here. Get in the. There we go. Uh, apparently, I clicked on the wrong spot. <laughs> Alright. So, my plan is to, as quickly as possible, start pumping Marines out to defend that bridge over there. Yeah, you grab that top bridge, I'll grab the other defense. Okay. Here they come. Lock and load. Uh, here they come, apparently. <laughs> our allies' base is under attack. Uh-oh, our allies' base is under attack. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I say we just let them die. Oh, that's nice of you. Oh, they killed my SCV! What the heck? I... Oh, holy crap! You're... That's not good. That's a lot of Zerglings. Oh my gosh. Okay, yep, we're not going... Holy cow, okay. Wow, that was a lot of Zerglings. Yeah. Holy smokes, they already destroyed... We're not going to get to repair any of that stuff. Jeez. Okay.
I didn't know I had an SCV just sitting out there. <laughs> I forgot that on the campaign they come with a much larger force. Forgot about that part. Oh, that would have been nice to know. But that's okay. Um, I am building my defenses now. <laughs> No, I want. Give me the SCV. There we go. Okay, there we go. SCV. Are you okay over there? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Multiple air bogies detected. Multiple air bogies. Right the hell oh, that's right. Engineering. Uh, that not good. Come on, finish building the thing so we can get in the base. We can uh, get in the bunker. Nah, never mind. There we go. In the bunker. Run away! <laughs> okay. Uh, I need the engineering bay first. Bad news? Yeah, I got bad news. We're dying. Yep. <laughs> it is not going well for us. Not enough minerals. Oh my lord. I need more minerals, apparently. Armed and ready. Uh oh. Not enough minerals. Here they come. This better be good. Jeez. I need to up, find a way to upgrade the thing. My bunkers. You get that with uh, with time, unfortunately. Okay. Holy cow, you are... Like, constantly under attack. Yeah. Our allies' base is under attack. Okay, I'm trying to get some more money going on here, cause, or not money, but you know what I mean. Yeah, take your time, man. I'm good. I'm golden. I need more minerals. Bad news. You may be, but my part of the base is constantly getting invaded. Oh no, that's not good. Not enough. The doctor is in. You rang. Okay, get get my medic over there. Oh, I lies base is under attack. Okay. You going to go doctor is in. Take get those guys that are down there? Yeah. That, that was my plan. That's why I was building up a little army over there, but it's not going very well. Oh, oh, I'm about to lose everything. Well, you got those guys. Yeah, but I'm about to lose everything to all those Zerglings. That's a, yeah, that is a lot of Zerglings. At least they're not going to come to you, right? <laughs> no, they're going to finish you off, then come to me. Yeah, but there won't be as many. You're welcome. Uh, well, here <laughs> they come. I don't think this is going to go very well. You know, I'm trying to trying to help you see things in a positive light. <laughs> it's being a Debbie Downer. Well, can you really blame me? <laughs> so does that count as one rescue? Because technically we did succeed in rescuing them. Yeah. But then they died immediately. Does that count as long as we us? rescued them? Okay. They just have to be rescued. Okay. So we got it's one. Like that second set we didn't get to rescue. Oh. Well, that sucks. Is what it is. Not enough minerals. Not, not that. 
I want more medics. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. Uh huh. We really have nine minutes left. Almost ten. Yeah. We just have to survive for that time. Oh my gosh, those banelings are. Yeah, they're. Uh... Oh come on. There we go. Okay. Holy smokes, man! You all right over there? Uh. uh oh. Maybe. Uh. Oh, now I'm being attacked. I was going to come over there, but, uh... Nope. That's the worst thing he could do, is remove things from static defense. Okay. Do I have any... I do have one. Get up there and repair that thing. I need to... Okay. Repairing my bunker. Oh, gonna... oh no. That's fine. The doctor is in. Gosh darn it. What's going on? Alright, got the repairs going on. Got... The doctor is in. No! I'm just going to make a small army of guys. You guys are just standing there. Uh, right by right by your base next to that bunker you were trying to fill. <laughs> this better be good. Okay. Better I'm going to make another bunker. Just to block this well, stupid then. entryway. Go, go, go. Base. Did all your SUVs die? Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. They got my SUVs. Well, fortunately I have enough money to get more. Stop it! Jeez! Okay. I do have one SCV still alive. I'm going to have him go there. Oh, you got another one. Good job. Our allies base is under attack. Our allies are being attacked. SCV ready. By the numbers, boy. I don't like the fact that they keep dropping these things on, on us. Yeah, not fun. No. Not fun. No, not at all. Well, that seemed to go a little better. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of guys. This supply depot right here, I need you to raise it. Hold out just a little longer. Which we'll supply depot? Which supply depot? I'm pinging it. Do I have a supply depot there? Yes, it's the green one. Okay. There you go. That's all I needed. Okay. Well, uh, my defenses on the left, on on that part of the bridge, are completely destroyed, basically. Ha! Ah, man, there's a lot of them. Yeah. them there so hopefully they'll be able to defend my scvs too good lord this is bad oh my gosh yeah we're, we're uh that my side of the base is definitely going to be uh destroyed here that's why i've been building defenses up on the top oh that's an ultra list hello please All right, time to evacuate to the top, I suppose. <laughs> All of my troops are dead. Standing 
gonna hang out right there. Yeah, um... Let's, uh... Just start building marines like crazy. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Just go get some minerals. <laughs> Not enough minerals. Our allies are being attacked. Man, the, I could not imagine trying to pull this off without the assistance of a second person. <laughs> there is no way. Good lord. Gangway coming through. This better be good. Not enough minerals. Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Uh-huh. No rush. <laughs> no rush. As we're constantly being bombarded. <laughs> Are you alright over there? Yep. Oh, I'm golden. I've got like 183 Marines and medics, so like we can hold out for a hot minute. Okay. Well, we only need to hold out for another 10 seconds, so. Yeah, we're, we're golden. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, you don't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage there, dude. You mean except for all the Zerglings he's murdering? Yeah, but look at all the buildings he's just ignoring. Uh, you know, it would go better if you actually attacked the buildings, then they could stop, then they would stop sending in guys so quickly. <laughs> Thinking too hard. It's a cutscene. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh. Okay. That works. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. <laughs> Tychus grabs on, Rainer just stands there. I mean, you gotta remember that Tychus has been in cryogenic freeze for a while. Why attack Marsara now? Well, yeah, but uh, I just thought it was funny. Because <laughs> he comes across as this badass and Rainer just stands there while Tychus is like, ah! <laughs> Well. I think that's why they activated you, Tychus. Yeah, she's she back. We always knew she'd be back. Yeah. What's she after? She's come to finish the job. She come to finish the job, but I guess it's up to us to stop her. <laughs> Yep, basically. Okay, yeah. so see how you've now got options like Ooh. tech base, tech infantry, and mercs? Yeah. So, you know, your minerals up there are how much, like, your, your, oh, wait, no, is, I think the minerals are Protoss research, gas is Zerg research, and then the Terrazine is, like, the in terror. thousands of dollars. Okay. 
so you know upgrade what you want as we unlock it and then uh when you're done go to mission complete which is the far right one and then just go to mission complete uh, the right. i don't have anything that i can actually upgrade welcome commander can you not even upgrade like your marines or anything yet? I can't upgrade anything right now. I guess it's the next mission that you can do. Yeah, it's like it unlocked the stuff, but. All right, well, we're just gonna have to wait till uh, next time for that one then, because yep. uh, we're out of time for this little escapade that we went on. Foray. We, yeah, we we, <laughs> we completed three missions. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, so. Uh, Next time, we'll, hopefully, we'll be able to upgrade some stuff and actually do some damage to the Zerg. I remember that being how uh, the original StarCraft went, too. It starts off with you. You start off with some pretty easy missions, like yep. three or four really easy missions. And then you start noticing that you're not so much attacking as you are just surviving until somebody can show up and, quote-unquote, save you. There are there are a few missions that are like that, where it's hold out for this long and this this much timer and you know that's one of the things that terrans do best they have some of the best static defense between missile yeah. turrets bunkers siege tanks yeah you know. and and then once you do finally get start getting the space stations and the spaceports and those things then you and then you can start getting the really good offensive weapons yeah yeah in particular like uh i remember using the hammer of dawn frequently Hammer of Dawn is uh, Gears That's of Gears War. Gears of War, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Wrong game. You know, it's all right. But, you know, the, the, the massive uh, spaceship. The battle cruisers. The battle cruisers. The battle cruisers, yeah. But the, the, yeah. the, the, the big, the really, really big one. That's the big one. The battle cruiser. That is the No, big... I, know, I know. I know that. The, the, there's battle cruisers, and then there's one that's big, even bigger than that. There's only one. In the... Are you talking th about th this game or the older games? But I think that's in the co-op, uh, in this game, in the co-op where you play as, with the commanders. Oh, uh, I mean, there are the carriers, the Protoss carriers, which are fantastic. Uh, but in the co-op on this one, Rainer, ha he can call the Hyperion in. That's it, the Hyperion. Yeah. I, I, well, I remember using the crap out of that thing when I was doing the co-op stuff with other people. Yeah, yeah, the Hyperion, it's a, it's a good chip. Yeah. But I thought you were talking about things you could actually build. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just was talking more about just in general. Gotcha, the, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll probably play some of the other co-op stuff later on in in our little series that we're starting here. But yep. uh, the, the one mission where you have to attack the shards... The void shards mm, or the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or the yeah the void shards yep yeah that one and also the one where it would like the giant worms that shoot the um the the plasma energy at your base you have to like oh the, the void thrashers yeah the void, void thrashers, thrashers yeah. yeah both of those missions using the Hyperion was made it so much easier just some of the Hyperion in right in the middle of it and it destroys yeah. everything oh yeah I mean those. Some of those commanders, uh, some of their special abilities are absolutely essential yeah. for completing those missions on higher level. You know, you have Vorazun's Time Stop, you have Alarak's Death Fleet, you've got, uh, you know, Rainer's Hyperion, Stukov's Alexander, uh, just some of them are 100% essential. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell, because when you ring that bell, you get on the face right time posting videos just like two daily. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Until then, keep your head up and keep moving forward. This is Rafnum. And Q, thanks for joining us at our table. Signing off. Bye-bye.